This is a tier list about ways to be cool while playing tennis. Let's get right into it. Number one, using a one-handed backhand. If you're not already using a one-handed backhand, then switching to one is the number one thing that you can do to be cooler on a tennis court today. By using a one-hander, you're showing everyone else on the court that you are so skilled and so coordinated that you don't even need the extra stability that a second hand would provide you on the backhand, even though you'd probably like it to be honest. Still though, the reduced stability is a small price to pay when you're styling out there with your one hander. S tier, next we got long hair. S tier, actually putting the effort in to get good at tennis. Nah, that's way too hard, F tier. Finishing your forehand over your head. Now make no mistake, there's a functional aspect when it comes to finishing over the head on the forehand. Finishing over the head can promote a more vertical swing path leading to more spin on your shot. But we're not worried about functionality here. We're concerned about one thing and one thing only. We're worried about how cool it makes you look. And it does look pretty cool. It goes in the A tier. Next we got the backwards cap, made famous by players like Leighton Hewitt, John Isner, and these days, Holger Runa. I don't really have much to say about this. I'll just throw it in the B tier. Next we got the sleeveless tennis top, and I'm talking about men's sleeveless tennis tops here because pretty much all women's tennis tops are sleeveless, uh, and also no women watch my videos. You won't really find me wearing one of these. I don't really want to distract my opponent with my massive arms, so I prefer to keep things covered up. If you're interested in what my physique looks like, here's a shirtless pic I took recently. I had a bit of a pump going, so I look probably a bit bigger than I do usually. I just feel like if I were to go sleeveless, my opponent wouldn't be able to focus on the ball, so I'm just trying to be a good sportsman. However, if you do have built arms and you want to show them off like Rafa, Alcaraz, Shelton, or Tiafo, then be my guest. I'm gonna put it in the B tier. Next up, we got grunting. If you grunt, everyone will love you. In fact, the louder you grunt, the more they'll love you. A tier. Okay, obviously that was sarcasm. Grunting, especially unnecessarily loudly, is a surefire way to annoy both your opponent and any spectators watching. It goes straight into the D tier. It avoids the F tier, because I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I grunt. When I play tennis, I'm usually silent, but sometimes I just feel the need to let the grunts fly. Also, extended grunt winners, they're pretty cool. Yeah. They don't happen that often and they shouldn't be overdone, but they are pretty cool. The teacher is fine for grunting. Last but not least, we got sunglasses. Now, a lot of people say they can't play their best tennis wearing sunglasses because they can't see the ball as well and because sweat could get on the lenses. However, the way I see it, if you want to maximize your coolness, anything that's going to make you look more like Lance Davis, the beekeeper, is going to be a good thing. They go in the A tier. All right, that's the end of my tier list. Thanks for watching. I'm out. Bye.